Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about select columns in dataset control and show you how to include or exclude columns from dataset in Microsoft Azure Machine Learning Studio. So let's get started. Get a dataset on Canvas. For demonstration purpose, I am going to use a saved dataset. There are number of saved datasets that are included when you spin up Microsoft Azure Machine Learning Studio. So expand the Save Dataset tab and Samples tab, you will see all the datasets that are present in Azure ML. I will be using Automobile Price Data dataset. Drag this dataset on Canvas. To visualize dataset, right click on Output Port of dataset and select Visualize. Here you will see the entire data that this data set contains. It has 26 columns and 205 rows. This data set has some missing entries. Now we have to get select columns in data set control on Canvas. For that, go to left pane and look for data transformation tab and expand it. Go to manipulation tab. You will see all the controls Find for select columns in dataset control. Drag this control on the canvas. Now connect the dataset to this control. This control has a red mark which says value required. For that, go to the properties pane and select launch column selector. There are two options to include or exclude columns from a dataset. First is by name and the another one is with rules. Let's look at the by name option. By name method has two lists. One is available columns and the other is selected columns. Available column has three types. The first one is all types which lists all the columns in the data set. The other one is numeric type. This will list all the columns with numeric type and the string will list all the columns with string type. To transfer the column in selected columns list, you have to click on the column and with the help of arrow keys, you can transfer that column in the selected columns. You can also select multiple columns at one time by using control key and transfer that with the help of arrow key. Now press OK. Now we will run the experiment. Now as you can see the output is ready and we can visualize the data set. Right click on the output port and select visualize. As you can see there are only 5 columns that are selected. Now let's try the other option. Select launch column selector and select with rules method. As you can see, the first parameter is begin with, which has two options, all columns and no columns. Let's select all columns first. Below that, we have two options, include and exclude. Let's select exclude option. The next drop down list has four options to select columns, column names, column indices, column type, all features. Let's try each option one by one. Let's try column names first. Now click on the text box next to it. A list of column names will appear. Select a column name which you want to exclude. You can select multiple column names. I will select normalized losses column and press OK. Now run the experiment and let's visualize the output. As you can see, there is no normalized losses column present in the data set. Now let's try the other option, select launch column selector and begin with no columns and select include. We will select column indices as our next option. Here you have to provide index of a column that you want to put in data set. You can also type multiple column indices. 
Let's take an example. We will include a few columns in the data set now. Press OK and run the experiment. Let's visualize the output. As you can see, column number 1, 2 and 5 are there in the output. Now let's try the option column type. Here you can select type of columns that you want to include from the drop down list next to it. It has following options that are numeric, integer, string and double. I will select integer and press OK and run the experiment and now we will visualize the output. So here is the output which has nine columns and all the columns have the data type as integer. Now let's try the last option that is all features. It will give the entire list of columns in the data set. So let's press OK and run the experiment and let's visualize the output. So it has all the columns, 26 columns in the output. So this is how select columns in data set control works. Thank you.